Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Los Angeles, California, God's smart Alec, Michael Joyner. Thank you. Right, how you doing? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Michael Joyner. Please welcome God Smart Alec Michael Joyner! This fella is hysterical. He was in one of my favorite movies of all time called The Grace Card. He was also the first place winner of The Funniest Comic in L.A. in 2008, a contributing writer for The Tonight Show for many years, and he is the very funny, very intense, great fella. Please make welcome Michael Joyner! Ladies and gentlemen, come on, Shonda. Woo! Yeah. And all the other comedians, come on, fantastic job. Didn't they do a great job? Yes. Got more coming. Good to be here in Nashville, man. Yeah. Tennessee. Where if you miss your exit on the freeway, just back up. No problem. Okay. It's just... I like how some of you moms deal with it when you're in a public place, your kid does something kind of stupid. You don't want to attract attention, so you do that ventriloquist thing. If you don't put that toy on right now, I'm going to spank your butt so hard when we get home. Did you hear what I said? Did you hear what I said? I hear you, but your lips ain't moving. Don't you get smart with me. I will spank your That's why Charlie Brown's parents talk like that. They were yelling at him. Oh, I used to get spanked when I was little. And if you're my age, you know this is true. We used to get spanked according to how long it took to describe the offense. Right? Don't you ever. Those three were free. Don't you ever put a firecracker in the cat's butt and light it again. So if one of our friends had some crazy idea, we'd have to count the syllables. <laughs> Don't you ever go in the neighbor's pool in your underwear? I'm not doing that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Can we just pull your sister's hair? I can handle that. <laughs> oh, man. So they just built a new 24-hour Walmart by my house. You guys got that here, right? The 24-hour? <laughs> Are you rooting for that? You all work there? Is that it? We're from Memphis, and we work at Walmart. 24-hour Walmart, man. Thank God for that. I don't know how many times I woke up at 3 a.m. going, I need some underwear and a cantaloupe right now. <laughs> 24-hour Walmart. Every time I go in that place, I think, can we get a few more lights in here, please? <laughs> place is bright. People go, where'd you get your tan? Walmart. <laughs> I do 20 minutes a week in the shampoo section. Place is huge, too. I saw people hitchhiking. Anybody going with the vitamins? Anybody? <laughs> vitamins? Actually got glasses. I got my glasses at Walmart, man. They have an optometry section at Walmart. Yeah. Took the eye exam. You guys have probably done that, the eye exam. That's pretty foolproof. It's like, uh, okay, Mike, cover your right eye. Read the top line. O-A-C-D. Okay, cover your left eye. Read the same line. The O-A-C-D line. You want me to read that one? W-K-L-M? <laughs> so I was real happy to see they put my hotel by a dollar store because uh, I got an uh, anniversary coming up. <laughs> I got her two things. Settle down. I'm such a sucker for the dollar store. I don't know why I always shop there trying to save money. Last summer, I bought this gigantic can of ant spray, used the entire can trying to kill nine ants. The only ones that died were the ones that couldn't swim. Well, you guys seem like a fun group. Uh, as I was coming in earlier, some guy was on his cell phone outside. I like pacing around people I don't know when they're on their cell phone. I'm going, dude, you about done? I got to make a call. I got Sprint for my service. Sprint's great and get service anywhere in the world as long as you're not going by a tree or a bush. 
got that voice dial where you just say the name, except it's not like on the commercial. On the commercial, it's like, call Bob. Hey, Bob, what's up? You get the phone, it's more like, call Bob. Did you say Bill? <laughs> Barb? Bob? Bob, did you want Bob's cell? Bob's home? Bob's cousin from Utah? <laughs> Bob cell, did you say Bob cell? Yes, did you say yes? Yes, press one if you said yes. You press two, did you mean to press two? <laughs> press one if you meant to press two. <laughs> it might be quicker to call Bob yourself. <laughs> call my friend on his cell phone not too long ago. I got this message. You ever get this message? Sorry, I'm away from my phone right now. Oh yeah, well you might want to get one of those cell phones you can take with you. They got those now. <laughs> I think that's a big lie. I think the only reason not to answer your phone these days is because you don't want to talk to the person, right? And I'm honest with people. That's why if you call my phone, you get this message. Hi, it's Mike. I have caller ID. Bye. <laughs> Some of you are going to do that. I just know it. We got a lot of married folks here tonight. Married folks? All right. Most of you look happy about it, not everybody, but uh, <laughs> hey, you better enjoy it now because according to the Bible, there is no marriage in heaven. Yeah, doesn't say that about hell though, I think about it. <laughs> Just reporting the truth, folks. No, marriage is great. A man is incomplete until he's married, then he's finished. Don't forget that. He's done. You have to have a good sense of humor in marriage. I was telling my wife the other day, I said, honey, you know guys like Tom Cruise are a dime a dozen. She goes, here's a nickel, get me six. <laughs> Jesus wasn't married, according to the Bible. Jesus was not married, and, uh, which is probably a good thing because uh, things could have been different. Come on. Because you see Jesus married. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Will you stop finishing my sentences? <laughs> Okay, it's not doctrine, Baptist, okay? Settle down. I can see the Baptist. We're leaving. <laughs> now, you guys are a fun group. I do appreciate you. I, I love my wife. I joke about marriage. I, I couldn't live without my honey pie, but uh, she does things, I admit, that get under my skin. For instance, anybody else got a wife that answers a question with a question? Anybody else? Oh, nobody wants to get in trouble but me. <laughs> We're not going to go with you on this one, pal. My wife does that to me all the time. The other day I was looking for my oldest son. I said to my wife, where's Dustin? She said, I don't know. Where'd he go? <laughs> Where'd he go? He's in the backyard. Anything else I can help you with? <laughs> Can't give a specific answer. The other day I said to my wife, where's the scissors? She said, in the drawer. Good thing we only have one drawer in the entire house. I know exactly where that's at. Fell for it again the other day. I said, I was making myself some dinner. I said, uh, honey, how long do I keep the ribs in the oven? She said, till they're done. <laughs> Can you say that again slowly? <laughs> I don't know where you ladies come up with some of this stuff. The other day, it's true, I'm not kidding. I said to my wife, I got a rash on my back. She said, uh, did you buy a new shirt? Are we still talking about the same thing? <laughs> No, Dr. Oz, I didn't buy a new shirt. What kind of evaluation process is that? My elbow hurts. Did you open up a bag of apples? I can't breathe. Are you dead? Now, men, you know this is true. I know, here's something I know you ladies do. You take advantage of our terrible memory. We have terrible memories, so bad that we even forget stuff about ourselves. You can convince us. I'm not kidding. The other day, my wife, I asked my wife, I said, what's for dinner, honey? She said, I made you a bean burger. I said, I don't like bean burgers. She said, yes, you do. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I didn't, but I guess I do. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me that something I thought tasted like dung, I actually like.
You do that, you do that, ladies. The other day, not too long ago, when the baseball games were on, when the Royals were winning, my KC Royals, I said to my wife, I said, honey, I'm going to Roger's house to watch the game. She said, no, you're not. We're going to my mother's for dinner tonight. I said, when did we discuss this? Last week, and you said you wanted to go. Oh, okay. <laughs> I must have forgot. <laughs> Are we having bean burgers? Because I locked them. <laughs> How you folks doing? Good? Yeah. Great, man. Good to be here. I uh, flew in from Kansas City, Missouri. That's where I live now. Kansas City. If you've ever been there, they have signs everywhere that say, Kansas City, cleanest big city air in the nation. Cleanest big city air. Just what are we bragging about when you think about it? That we have cleaner air than Detroit, Pittsburgh, New York. Isn't that kind of like saying, my gal's the prettiest girl with a mustache? <laughs> Or I'm the smartest person in Arkansas. You know, it's just don't, don't really, don't really it's not really impressive. I'm sorry if you're from Arkansas, I apologize. If you're a girl from Arkansas, sorry about that mustache joke. I don't know. I don't offend people or nothing. So good to be here, man. This is pretty nice. I, uh, like I said, flew in from Kansas City. And you guys surprised me. I didn't expect you to be so young. What a young group we have tonight. Uh, nothing against old folks, I just did a comedy show for a nursing home. Uh, I'll tell you, they laughed so hard, they wanted a dry seat in the house. That was a pretty good show. Right there. Was good I was, uh, was at the mall not too long ago. You guys uh, heard of those? I was at the mall. You can always tell where the Christian families are when you're at the mall, because the other one's yelling at their kids, and they all got biblical names. Caleb, Joshua, Beelzebub, get over here. <laughs> Moses, put down that snake. I was at Kmart the other day, because I got money. <laughs> Almost bought that shirt. I'm kidding, I wouldn't wear that. Um, <laughs> Hey, I encourage you, moms, if you have young kids to live near Kmart, that way you won't to go too far if you need to spank them. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure that's the law. There's always at least two or three getting a whipping whenever I go in there. Sometimes you even hear, beatings aisle six, beatings aisle six. And some of these parents, especially the moms, will go off any time on their kids in Kmart. I was standing in line at Kmart the other day, I hear this lady behind me go, whack, put that candy down. I'm like, come on, lady, I'm not even your kid. Here's what my sister does when she yells at her kids, and it drives me nuts. She'll yell at them. If they don't behave right away, she'll start counting. One, two, three. Then they'll behave. Otherwise, she'll keep counting. 5,786. Don't make me go to a million. I know where she got that. She got that from my dad when we were little. So people just go, one, bam! He wouldn't hit us, just get right in our face and go, BAM! <laughs> kind of a wacko. I just get in a lot of trouble as a kid for being a smart aleck. I remember one time my sister was impersonating my dad, so I told on her. I said, Dad, Jennifer's impersonating you. He goes, tell her to stop. So I said, Jennifer, quit acting like an idiot. <laughs> there goes my dad, BAM! You guys got some road construction going on over there, though, don't you? My goodness. Apparently really making folks mad. I saw a bunch of signs that said, end road work. <laughs> Good idea. I signed that petition myself. Here's a sign I see near the road crews. You ever see this one? Give them a break. Give them a break. These guys get paid 25 bucks an hour to hold up a sign. What would a break look like? Put a sandwich in the other hand? <laughs> you ever notice the guy holding the sign always fits what the sign says? Slow. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, did we go right there on that one? Did we go right there? Don't mess with slow jokes. Oh, if it's not the road construction, what is it, sir? If it's not the road construction slowing you down, come on, you know. Other people? What kind of other people? Slow. Slow. Are you the guy with the sign? I don't know, are you? Oh, did you say older? You did, yes. Older people. I'm not making fun of older people. Yes, I am, actually. I think about it. This whole joke makes fun of them. Hey, it's okay. They've been in bed for eight hours. All right, we're good. They went in bed right after Mayberry RFD. <laughs> Three people got that reference. Okay, great. <laughs> no, I do. I love old folks, man, but I'm always getting stuck behind that old guy driving the Ford Tortoise or whatever they drive. <laughs> Blinker's been on since he bought the car. You know the guy? I always tell when it's a really old guy, can't you? Because they all have the same silhouette where the ears get twice as big as the head. Come on, they grow like summer squash when you hit 85, man. My grandpa makes Ross Perot look like Vincent Van Gogh. You do weird stuff when you get old. My grandmother kind of shrinks every year. Anybody else got grandmas like that? They get smaller, yeah. My grandma just turned 98. She's about that big. Her and Grandpa go to the movies, he just sneaks her in his ear. It works out really good. <laughs> I'm not bashing old folks. I love grandmas and grandpas. They're the best, man. You ever be talking to your grandpa, though, and he's always got some wise proverb, doesn't he? Some wise saying, make hay while the sun shines. Or, uh, you can cut the ears off a mule, but that don't make it a horse. <laughs> And people will nod and agree whether they understand. Oh yeah, that's so true, Grandpa, that's so true. I'm gonna do that when I get really old, except I'm just gonna mess with people. <laughs> Say really outrageous stuff and see if they agree with me. <laughs> if you use your hind end to shine an apple, you'll have three in the barn come morning. <laughs> yeah, okay, all right. And don't forget, you can squeeze corn out of a guinea pig's nose, but that don't mean it'll drive you to the store. <laughs> Kids, get away from Grandpa. <laughs> Speaking of older folks, I remember the guy who wrote the lyrics to the Hokey Pokey passed away. He was in his 80s, and uh, I heard at his funeral they had a big problem when it came time to lowering his casket into the grave. You're getting ahead of me, ma'am. <laughs> First, they put the casket in. <laughs> Took the casket out. Put it back in, shook it all about. His friends and family's going, hey, what's this all about? that joke in Arkansas about right now. <laughs> right before I moved, uh, I used to live in LA and then I moved back to Kansas City and right before I moved they had this thing in the newspaper where about a dozen Kansas City, Kansas cops surrounded this house for like six hours, guns drawn and everything, only to find out the guy they thought was inside had already turned himself into police station earlier. Hey, we ain't gonna see that episode on cops, huh folks? Six hours. I'm thinking, what did the guy do? Make bail? Then he shows up at his house going, hey man, what's going on? <laughs> Be very, very quiet. We're hunting wabbit. <laughs> Phone first. So I uh, used to live in Los Angeles. I used to live in Hollywood. Anybody here been to Hollywood? Ever visited? Probably. Yeah. Who went over here? Went to Hollywood? What were you doing over there? Studios? Visiting studios? Oh, just for fun? Uh, I'm in animation. Oh, okay. Did you drop off some resumes? No. Awesome. How long ago was that? Like, like six months ago. Okay, you're not going to hear back. Uh, <laughs> well, they would have called you by now. Um, I'm kidding. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. I hope it works for you. The thing is, did you, go, you went to Hollywood? Did you get any parking tickets in Hollywood? That's what I'm talking about. The parking ticket people are wacko in Hollywood. My first week there, sir, I got three parking tickets in one week in Hollywood. My third parking ticket, I was going to some restaurant, I parked my car, I go in, I come out. I got a ticket because my wheel was not turned towards the curb. 
On my way home, going down Sunset Boulevard, I see a guy in a G-string carrying a bottle of wine yelling at people. He's okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess he parks straight. <laughs> I'm the big troublemaker. You guys got the 24-hour Walmart? Got that right over here? Got that? We got a new one by our house. 24-hour Walmart. Thank God for that. I don't know how many times I woke up at 3 a.m. going, I need some underwear and a cantaloupe right now. Let's <laughs> those shirts. We come straight here from the road construction crew or something. What the heck? We'll get the comedian out here in a little bit, okay? You guys just stay in I just have to do this speech. Everybody's laughing, they went into a coma. Where are you going? Where are you going with your fake ID? Look at that, that's my paper boy there right there. Where are you going, Chuck E. Cheese? What's with the shirt? What's with the shirt? I, you have to wear a shirt here, it's not. <laughs> What's with the ball? Why'd you take it off? Have you been punched by a kangaroo? Oh. You've been hit by a kangaroo? In the face? Did you hit him back? <laughs> Punch you out, pal. This is only a sanctuary for good kangaroos. <laughs> so what do you do? You, he hits you in the face, huh? Did he stop after the first punch then? Uh, He's like... Uh, put your teeth in, sir, and talk to me later, okay? <laughs> Who invited Slim Blake? Mm, I reckon you're going to win. They've already got their number about me, bro. Uh, Who'd you bring? Do I have lazy eye? I'm looking right at you. Arkansas last week, so good to be back in the United States. Uh, well, I, uh, are you from Arkansas? <laughs> I asked him and he raised his hand. <laughs> well, I never got to raise my hand in school, so I'd like to do it right now if possible. Put the gun down, I'm just joking with you, man. Just, uh... What part of Arkansas are you from, sir? Harrison? Where's that near? Like that little Victorola thing there. Why are you tilting your head there? Are you, what are you, Rain Man? Oh, definitely from Harrison, definitely. 
Yeah, Daphne Harrison. Of course, of course, Little Rock's an hour and a half that way. Because I'm Daphne Harrison. Double wide, double wide. Definitely got a double wide. Did you see him telling us how he was? He kept doing this. Uh, hey, will you guys get it on video when he beats me up in the parking lot? Because I want to make sure I put that on YouTube immediately. That would be great. God bless you for raising your hand, though. At least you have a What do you do for a living, sir? Yeah, I can tell you from Arkansas, too. Did you hear? Diesel mechanic. Cool, man. You're going to want to get the tape. A lot of truckers like my stuff. That's the kind of stuff. Okay, I'm over here. It's not like TV. I can see you, right? You know that? I talk to him. He starts talking to the person. I could pretty much get ignored at home, sir. I mean, geez, I'm talking to you. He's going to start the conversation with the person next to him. <laughs> I'm done talking to you, man. You done made fun of me five, four, three, whatever, a couple times. Too many times. I'm just 